even when your eyes are glowing. My eyes are glowing. Yes, I am at a very secret, undisclosed location. You cannot find me. It's one of the few places in the church, though, that you can make a mess. So that's why I'm here. Well, guys and girls, welcome to Main Street Live. It is awesome to see you, whether you are right here on the front row or you're on the second row or wherever it is that you are. Carry on, my friends. Well, I have the famous silver chalice here. And it's going to help me with my story as we talk about bread. And you're like, wait, what? That's not bread. That's like a thing for liquid. Well, it is a thing for liquid, but it will help prove a point. You see, in today's Bible story, God made a provision for the Israelites, and yet they did not respect it in the way that he told them to. And he was even revealing something about himself. And unfortunately, they just are like, dude, what is it? Who bros? It's kind of like sometimes, I won't name any names, but sometimes I cook a really good meal. And then there are some children, once again, who do remain unnamed, who possibly might look at it and wrinkle their nose and say, ooh, I don't like that. And it's like, well, have you even tried it? No, I know I won't like it. Well, in the same way, God kind of did something special in today's story, and the people did not obey him, they didn't respect it, and they were kind of complaining. But the cool thing is, is that God provides even when we're kind of complaining. But we need to learn the lesson and seek him. And so I brought with me my handy dandy, amazing container. Check this out. So when I pour it out, on the floor, I don't know if you can see that. I'm pouring it out on the floor. I'm gonna pour it all out so it's all gone. Nothing is there. And then the cool thing is, is that when we trust God, He continues to provide. It doesn't always make sense, but God still can provide. God can do the impossible. You know, there was a song when I was little that said, little is much when God is in it. Are you trusting God in the little things? And when you do, check this out. Wait, what? No way! Are you kidding me? Yes, that is true. This is amazing. We will pour out the water here. Watch this. I'm going to pour it all out. There we go. It's all gone. Drips are out. Looks good. Oh, let's get those last three drops off. Hello, Mr. Drops, you gotta fall, or kids aren't gonna believe me that we got all the water out. There we go. Okay. Oh, stop, crackle pop! Into your morning, into your morning, into your morning. So there you have it, boys and girls. We need to trust God, God provides, and ultimately, what is God going to provide that will save us from death? Well, you'll have to put your thinking caps on for that one. Let's see if I've got any more. There we go. All right. Well, I need for you to point your nose right to the front, like me. I'm pointing my nose back at you. And I need for you to freeze! And wait until your teacher tells you what to do next!